So just scrying the 15th call, and <clears throat> I'm seeing a tube full of dots or made up of dots, the outline of the tubes making out, the dots make an outline of a tube <clears throat> rolling up towards me. This tube from end to end then makes a circle and that circle spins into a sphere. And much as with the previous visions of the day, the tube or the sphere, I should say, ascends uh, quickly into the heavens. And all about it is this white light. And this is this idea of converting matter into energy. Um, and there is this uh, star-like unfolding. And this, I'm being told, is a reconciliation. So this is, <clears throat> if you've ever seen a stellation, a geometric stellation, you know, with um, dozens, hundreds of points all kind of rotating around, it's sort of like that. You could sort of think of it like the um, uh, ship that Superman was in in Superman 1 when he came to Earth as an infant. <clears throat> and, I mean, it's very beautiful, but I'm just sort of watching it, and it sort of has an end dimensionality so there's this rotation that appears to have um, little spires coming in and out of existence, but that's just an artifact of the rotation. And there is a wild sort of unfolding that happens within it. And this is, I'm being told, um, just an energy that's unlocked for having gone through these um, first four elements um, of, the, uh, of the angels and their um, powers. And this is just with two sets of angels. So the angels of secret discovery and the angels of um, <clears throat> the elements themselves proper. And I'm seeing this uh, stellation embedded within this sphere, and it's kind of going all about. And what I'm being told is that when I continue this, um, this working, um, there will be overlays when I, whenever I've done the fire for the third time each day, um, that there will be overlays of additional stellations, and they will sort of themselves create lines that will, or arcs or chords, C-H-O-R-D-S, that will, <clears throat> you know, about the surface of the sphere, that will then sort of light up these sections. Um, I'm not sure what you would call them, but they look like Vesca Pisces, except blown out a little bit onto the sphere itself. Um, you know, uh, uh, bounding a certain level of area on the surface of the sphere thereby sort of creating the entire sphere itself or mimicking it or um, being apparent that way. So it's these crossovers of these angels and their powers and their combinations that ultimately allow them to take on the same form of the sphere that we see um, in Lil and in, you know, after going through all of the Aethers. Um, that finally um, they, the, again, the elements are sort of rolled up into uh, the sphere as a whole. So um, less having to do with the actual uh, entities themselves, um, but those are available in the first two recordings. I'm asking if there's anything else and they're saying no. So that sends the vision.